You know, it is really rare in Washington when you get both parties to agree, but that's exactly what happens when you ask leadership on either side what party has the most momentum for the midterms. Right now, we all agree it's the Republicans. And who is responsible for this trend? It's the Democrats. The Dems broke themselves. The Democratic Party, led by Joe Biden, has hit an all-time low. You got Republicans in a prime position to have a huge blowout midterm, right? And you wonder if Joe Biden will actually get through the term himself. That's my own thoughts. Let's be clear. This isn't the story of a Republican comeback. It's the story of a Democratic implosion. All right, let's start with the American Rescue Plan for a country that didn't need to be rescued, writing checks on accounts without funds to give, uh, to, give to causes without an identified need. Then there's the actions and the lack thereof on rising inflation. It's not going to leave as quickly as promised. Remember this and this analysis? They said it was transitory. It doesn't look so transitory. They said it was due to a few specific factors. It doesn't look to be a few specific factors. They said when September came and people went back to school that the labor force would uh, grow and it didn't happen. The result's obvious, even for a Democrat mainstay like former Treasury Secretary uh, Larry Summers under President Obama. Now, our president fell flat on his face in Afghanistan. He embarrassed this country on the world stage. President Biden alone decided to end the pandemic. Remember this in July. If we do our part, if we do this together, by July the 4th, there's a good chance you, your families and friends, We'll be able to get together in your backyard or in your neighborhood and have a cookout and a barbecue and celebrate Independence Day. We didn't need advice on how to get together then, and we certainly didn't need, don't need bad advice now. And then there were the variants his administration was not prepared for. Nobody saw it coming. Nobody in the whole world. Who saw it coming? <laughs> yeah. All setting up for a disastrous fall when the tests couldn't be found, vaccinations fell short. And he berated those who had legitimate concerns about its effectiveness and its safety. And by the way, on the variants, his own vice president said they missed the variant. He continued to put teachers' unions ahead of parents and kids, leaving many stuck at home instead of the classroom, which opened up many parents' eyes. Case in point, Virginia. Oh, yeah, and remember the Democrat signature plan, Build Back Better, that blew up in their faces? Can't get there. This is a no on this legislation. Yeah, that even surprised Brett Baer. Joe Biden and his party are down in all the polls. In fact, six out of every 10 Americans give his job approval a thumbs down and his party leading on one category, retirements. They don't want to do this anymore. High gas prices, high inflation, despite great jobs numbers, has America's confidence reeling. His last chance is, to finally, is finally to take the wheel and lead our allies to the aid of President Zelensky in Ukraine, who has earned world praise and admiration for fighting off the Russians. Is he capable of doing it? In many ways, his fate and the future of his party are in his hands. So let's be clear, the Democrats' drop has nothing to do with Republicans' actions. They've promised nothing, and they've done little. The Democrats earned their ratings solely on their own. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.